Hi, welcome to Thriving Projects and you are watching how can I model this shape. In today's video, we are going to make 3D model of this shape. You can use any 3D modeling software. The software that I am using is Blender. So let's move to the Blender. Let's start with adding a plane. Scale this along y axis by pressing S Y. Scale this down. Go to the edit mode. Select this edge. Press E. Move along X axis and then Z axis. Again, press C and move along Z axis. Press E one more time and then move along Z axis and then a little bit along X axis. Go to the object mode. Add a cylinder and set the vertices to it. Rotate the cylinder along y axis by pressing R Y 90 degree. Scale this down. Go to edit mode, select this face and move along the x axis. Select this one and like that. Okay. Now I will apply a boolean. Select this cylinder, then select this one. Press Ctrl minus. Select the Y frame and move along Z axis up a little bit. Click this mesh. Apply the boolean modifier. Now select the Y frame. Press H to hide this. Go to the edit mode. Press 1. Now by pressing K, you will get the knife tool. Similarly, I will do also here by pressing K. Okay, so we have added our edges. Go to the object mode and this time I'm going to add array modifier. We will add array modifier along y axis. So x will be 0, y will be 1. And I will add 20 copies, 20 value along y axis. And now we are going to have in circular shape. But before that, click the merge. And also click the first and last copies. Add a simple D4 modifier. Select the bend. And we are going to bend this along X axis. I will add a empty plane axis. Click this mesh. And set the origin to this empty. Click this empty plane axis. Enter value of 90 in the X rotation. Now rotate this along minus 360. After simple D4 modifier, add a weld modifier. I'm just checking uh, are the vertices are weld merged. Okay, this seems good to me. Okay, I will delete these vertices. Add support loop because for my subdivision, I will go to the edit mode, press Ctrl R, then press E. So the red dot should appear here and slide this along. Similarly, I will add support loops. I will also add a support loop here. Press E. So that I want to slide along this uh, shape, but the red dot is appearing on the other side. Let me press G two times. 
press E and to flip the red dot press F. So now the red dot is here. Okay. Press Ctrl R to get an X loop here. Okay. Now it's time to move some extra edges, clean topology. I will click on the auto merge. Click this vertice. Press D two times and slide these vertices. These these edges press X dissolve edge. Similarly here. Press X dissolve edge. Okay, I'm noticing the points are not merged, so I will increase the value of weld modifier and now these are merged i will also add an control loop here press control r here and here press e then f i will add a subdivision surface let me see okay we are getting this we have to increase the value of weld modifier i think so Yes, the error is moved. Okay, we just forgot to add a sport edge sport loop here. Press Ctrl R here. Press E. Right click shade smooth. Now I will apply the ray modifier when I'm satisfied with the shape you apply the simple deform modifier apply weld modifier except for the subdivision now press select this edge loop press s and and now press e s move this inside along x-axis and press e s then press ctrl f Grid fill. I will add a sport loop here and here. Okay, so there's an another way you can model this shape. We you can call this second approach so let's go okay for the second approach i am going to add a cylinder i will go to the edit mode select these faces press i to insert faces then select the upper one face upper face press m merge as center similarly down here then press alt and select this loop press ctrl i then press x delete edges go to the object mode apply screw modifier turn on the auto smooth click the merge in screw modify so here we have our cylinder i will use this cylinder uh, one more than once so i will set this right press shift d to copy this and rotate this along r y 90 degree Increase the size a little bit. Go to the edit mode. Uh, select this vertice. And move along X axis. Then press E and move along Z axis. And press E one more time. Move along X axis and a little bit Z axis. Then press E one more time and move along Z axis until the points merged. Okay. We will increase the steps to something like 100. I will add a decimate modifier. Select this option. And enter a value of 1 degree. 
will be okay i think so yes now i will again duplicate this lender press shift t rotate this along r y 90 and scale this down press alt g to get in the center press z move along z axis i will press g also to put this lender in the center i will scale this along x axis press s x and just slide this something like this so now what i want to do is uh, this small cylinder in a circular way around this bigger cylinder for this i will use an array modifier before array modifier i will add uh, an empty plane axis scale this up a little bit select the smaller cylinder then array modifier and check the relative offset check the object offset and select this this is not what we want i will just turn off the array modifier for now i will press ctrl a rotation and scale okay turn on the array modifier still no success so what we want uh, we have there it is because the origin is here of this lender we want the origin where our empty is located located in the center for this if i change the origin like that i'm changing the origin the screw modifier get disturbed because it is working around the origin the center if we get change the origin the screw modifier get disturbed so how to solve this click the cylinder press shift s cursor to select it press shift a add another empty plane axis select the small cylinder if you go to screen modifier and select this empty plane axis we just added rotate this along ry90 and if we change the pivot or the origin point the cylindrical shape is not disturbed as before so now let's move the, this pivot point in the center to go into center press shift s cursor toward origin or you can also select the empty press shift s and cursor to select it now select the cylinder right click set origin to 3d cursor original origin to 3d cursor press ctrl a rotation and scale now select the empty plane axis in the center so how many small cylinder small cylinders on the sides i will go to the array modifier i will like have some uh, say 20 this, uh, small cylinders select this empty plane axis change the rotation value of x axis i will 360 divided by 20 and we have equally spaced small cylinders let me check the face orientation okay that's good because we want all blue now select this small cylinder then select the big one press ctrl minus and a boolean modifier is applied okay i will select this uh, wireframe press h to hide this i will select the big cylinder i will move the decimal modifier down so and we just you know remove these edges i will also decrease the value of the angle limit 0 0.6 maybe a little bit okay good the next step we are going to add a bevel modifier but you can see that we have no success <laughs> you can't see bevels so to solve this we will add a well modifier before the bevel modifier okay so there is a little problem here i will increase the steps uh, this one is 100 maybe 150 and 
I will select this wireframe the boolean that we applied and increase the steps of small cylinder maybe 50 okay i will hide this again select the big cylinder okay i'm still not seeing any bevel i will increase the value of weld modifier go to the geometry select this to arc uncheck loop slide uncheck clamp overlap lower the value of the amount press hold shift and then lower the value increase by 0.007 okay let me check is there any problem okay, currently i'm not seeing any problem here if i increase the value a little bit let me see 0 0.008 maybe let's go for 0 0.01 okay, still okay no big problems increase the value of the segments at the end add a weight in normal okay so here we model the shape again using a different approach i hope you like this video and if you like to support us you can support us on our patreon page where you can get our all project files and many of the benefits so thank you and keep doing 3D modeling.